Padmanath Gohan Barua was the first president of Assam Sashitya Sabha and a prominent name in the early part of modern Assamese literature. He was a novelist, poet, dramatist of excellence, analyst and a thought-provoking writer. Considering his towering personality and profound knowledge, he is regarded as the pit of in Assamese literary world. In recognition of his outstanding contributions to the Assamese literature and society, the British government gave him Rebayajar title, a rare honor conferred for the first time to an Assamese person. He was also the first literary pensioner of Assam. Padmanath Gohan Barua was born in 1871 at Nakari village in North Lakimpur. He was first a home member of Assam Legislative Council. He started schooling in a Bengali medium school at his birthplace. He went to Calcutta in the last part of the 19th century to pursue higher education. His voyage started off as he became an active member of Asamiya Bashar of Nadi Sadini Sabha, established by a number of Assamese students for the uplifting of Assamese language and literature. However fate had other plans for him. Gohan Barua could not complete his BA examination as he found Latin very difficult to master. In those days the Indian students were expected to study an ancient language for their BA course, and Padmanath, who had not learned Sanskrit in his Bangla medium school, had opted for Latin. Failing to complete his graduation, Padmanath started preparing for Bachelor of Law examination, but was barred from appearing in the exam for being underage. Thus, although he had failed to acquire a formal degree in Calcutta, his years there had a very formative influence upon him. It was there that he came into contact with the contemporary stalwarts of the Assamese literature like Gunabhiram Barua, Hemchandra Goswami, his senior fellow student Lakshmanath Bez Barua, etc. Moreover, it was Calcutta that he was inspired with a sense of duty towards his nation. His return to his homeland witnessed his dedication for the noble cause of the uplift of his mother tongue and he went on to write a number of books in various styles and forms. Padmanath with his friend Panandranath Gagoi wrote a number of textbooks in Assamese language. But untimely death of Panandranath led Padmanath to complete the mission alone. To meet the necessities of the Assamese students and teachers he wrote a number of textbooks on history, geography, moral science, teacher's handbook and a book on physical exercise including life and works of many stalwarts of Assamese society. He also edited Jivani Sangra, a rare book in Assamese literature. He has immense contributions to the domain of Assamese language and literature. He is also revered as a founder of modern Assamese novel. His novel Banu Modi, published in 1890 is the first Assamese novel. From literary point of view it is regarded as the first Assamese novel. His other novel is Lahori. As a playwright Padmanath was comparable to none in Assamese drama and theatre. He wrote a number of dramas on local plots and events. Picking up a number of glorious chapters from Assam history he wrote historical dramas like Joymodi, Gadadar, Lakit Borfakan, and Sadani. On the basis of the legendary love story of Usha and Anuruddha he wrote a mythological drama called Ban Raja. In his social drama Janebura he neatly described the economic condition of Assamese people under the British rule. His comedy Teton Tamulai and Putni Brahm created spontaneous overflow of laughter among the readers and audiences. He is also credited to have written a monumental work, Sri Krishna. He has presented Lord Krishna as a multifaceted personality. Gohan Barua was also a poet. His poetical works include Jirani, Leela and Fuller Shineki. The skillful poetical descriptions of landscapes in Leela are very much beautiful, touchy and sober. The first session of Asam Sashitya Sabha was held on December 26, 1917 in Sivasagar under his presidency. A flag carrier of journalism progress in Assam, Gohan Barua was closely allied with a number of Assamese journals and magazines. While studying in Kolkata, he with Krishna Prasad Duwara brought out an Assamese monthly called by Julie. Later he became its editor and ran it for more than three years. In 1901, he with Madara Mohan Barua published a weekly called Asambandi from Tezpur. At a most critical period Asambandi played a leading role in Assamese language and literature. Acting as a mouthpiece of Assamese society it brought to the focus many important issues to the British government. In 1906 Gohan Barua published a monthly called Usha. Many stalwarts like Hemchandra Goswami, Satyanath Bora, Sarat Chandra Goswami etc. Regularly wrote in the magazine that heralded a new era in Assamese literature. Thanks for watching.